All right, so this is a freezing point depression problem, which means that we're going to need to use uh, the freezing point depression equation, which is delta Tf equals I times Kf times the molality of the solution. So let's start by establishing what we know. Uh, in this case, we know the change in the freezing point, so that's known. We always know Kf for water. Kf for water is a constant, is negative 1.86 Celsius degree per molal. And we do not know yet the molality of the solution, and at the moment we don't know the Van Hoff factor. And so let's try to figure out what we know. We know that molality is the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. And in this case, we were told right off the bat that 0.25 moles of the substance were dissolved in a total of uh, 150 grams of water, which is equivalent to 1.5 kilograms of water. I'm trusting you guys can handle that conversion. And so our concentration then is 1.67. That is our molality for this case. So now we know our molality. So this really is just a problem we're solving for the Van Hoff factor. So the Van Hoff factor then is going to equal the uh, change in the freezing point over Kf times the molality. So in this situation, it will be negative 9.3 Celsius degrees over uh, negative 1.86 Celsius degrees per molal times 1.67. And you'll notice there are no units to the Van Hoff factor. It is just a number. So all the units should cancel out. And when I do this, I should get I is equivalent to 3. So whatever salt this is, it is breaking apart into three parts when it is dissolving. So the entire thing we're supposed to determine is this an alkali metal or an alkali earth metal mixed with chlorine. So our alkali metals are sodium, potassium, the like. So we can pick any of those. So sodium with chlorine, Na plus and Cl minus, forms NaCl. So that only has a Van Hoff factor of 2. Our alkaline earth metals, like for example calcium, which is positive 2, when that mixes with chlorine, it will make CaCl2, and this has a Van Hoff factor of 3. So that means that this must be an alkaline earth metal, um, because an alkaline metal, an alkaline metal could not, could not handle this. So that's it. So that's it.